that I'm, I was invited to give a talk. Uh, today I'm going to talk about uh, uh, smaller things than previous talk. Uh, talk about X-ray lines and the resonance. Uh, the content is simple, it's two things. One is uh, I want to compare lines and the resonance. Another thing is talk about uh, cross-sections. Uh, I, I, uh, I work on collisional plasma and the photoionized plasma, not uh, charge exchange, but uh, it's related, related to composite spectral models. So uh, before I decide to give a talk, I ask Reynolds uh, advice. Should I give a talk? And uh, uh, what kind of contents uh, should I present? And then Reynolds <laughs> didn't give any advice, so I have to present. I think uh, uh, the, the lines, extra lines, and the resonance is common for both these uh, collisional uh, for, uh, plasma, photoionized plasma, all these models. And uh, several things may be common, and uh, I will show how we work in the collisional plasma and the photoionized plasma, how we work and on the small things. So, uh, I borrow this plot from uh, Reynolds, uh, a paper to show the cascade. Uh, all these are lines. And one, one feature, it's a lesson it's not in this figure. Um, we have not figured out how to include a uh, lesson transition in the cascade models. Uh, we work on lesson transition a decade ago, this is about transition and this uh, for lessons. This for oxygen seven and uh, oxygen six. So in in below the ionization threshold is a line, and above is resonance. There is a resonance profile features, and then we extend oxygen. Set, uh, six to all these this uh, transition from resonant transitions. And the idea is from Anil Plata, and I did this plot. After I finished this plot, the work stopped, and I was uh, attracted for different things. But it's important uh, to think about how to include the resonance uh, in the model, but uh, it's different from the lines. Okay. Uh, this is a traditional plasma. Show several important uh, extra lines, iron 70, oxygen lines, and these lines also show in uh, charge exchange uh, Plasma. Okay, this is for from I seventy lines from Kepler. And uh, this is for uh, XM Newton. This is charge uh, exchange model, but it's a composite model. It includes I seventy lines. So this basically is a, uh, from two. Uh, is a composite model uh, uh, between charge exchange model, including charge exchange model and uh, collisional elements uh, plasma. So basically, it's a combined two models. Okay, this is the X-ray lines. 
uh, in a model. And uh, learn from the model, we get the uh, line bridge. And the uh, y -based difference. Uh, it is include the resonance uh, the e e effects. So this line ratio is with uh, resonance effects and uh, this curve is without uh, resonance effects. So there is big difference in the temperature derived. So I show all these uh, lines resonance in the model is just to, sh uh, to show how uh, the, the cross-section is included. Um, this iron, uh, no, neon, neon line and for G G line, okay, and uh, this is the cross section, uh, electron energy, is from a collisional ionized platform for collisional electron collisions, and uh, you can see in the not uh, the these resonance features. So it's include uh, it, it, it important to study collision uh, resonance features. This is the radiation, radiation damping effects in the cross section. So we normally just put a, a calculate a cross section a number actually there are uh, complex features in the cross section. So so we play on on the resonance features. And uh, we need to identify the resonance complex. Uh, why they these are useful? Useful uh, if you could identify resonance features, you can uh, understand uh, if the calculation is right or not. If there is no uh, experimental uh, results to, to 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 compare, and uh, in these uh, resonance meet. It's also difficult to, to, to get the experimental data. I, I'll talk about this later. So this figure basically is just to show how we did uh, uh, the calculation on the, uh, the cross-section, not just a number or even a rate, and then put it in a model. We need to go to the like, small thing. Uh, yeah, so in, in the previous topic, I basically uh, explained the concept, uh, resonance and uh, lines. Now I move to the, the uh, also follow the, 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 uh, the, the cross-section figure, how we did um, the calculation. Uh, this slide just show uh, as an example. Actually, uh, I don't have time to, to clean this uh, slide. So to show uh, in today's talk, I'm not going to explain the problem. I just to uh, explain how we did the calculation on the cross section and the why we need to study the, the features and uh, in the cross section. Then we can know uh, why is line and why is wrong. All these are small things. And this is the formula we use in the calculation of, uh, of polarization. And the, the, the key term is uh, this relativist key matrix uh, is from R matrix. Then using this formula, we can get uh, uh, polarization, and uh, we can see the also the, the, the 
the features in the pluralization, the degree of pluralization. Uh, this formula is the same as previous slide, slide except the T matrix is from Black Poly uh, R matrix uh, calculation. Okay, now you, you use the formula I just gave, we calculate uh, the uh, collision cross section for, for, for magnetic sub level, uh, at least three H or M2 lines. Uh, we have just finished the calculation, so the, the, the features we are, have not identified. But uh, I will show a, a different plot, plot for a different island species. Space, uh, uh, we identify the features. Uh, uh, M2 line for I17 is at uh, 17 I. It's from this transition from ground state to. And uh, earlier on is cross section, and then we use the formula we gave, uh, we gave a brief before we get the uh, polarization. So polarization is not uh, really is a very uh, feature in here. These are not lines, it's just polarization. And we have not included cascade effects. But we really, uh, cascade effect may increase or decrease the, the, the polarization effect. But normally will decrease, but all these features will not be uh, totally disappeared though. Okay, as I said, I have not finished the calculation of I-17, so I use a different calculation to show the, the, the feature. This is a calculation of uh, uh, cross-section for, for, for barrier. It's also near line, the same. So it's uh, three M2 lines, like this Armstrong. Okay, so we spend a lot of effort to identify these uh, features. As I said again, these are not lines, these are just uh, cross-section. And uh, uh, it, it, it's important to identify this, and these are not uh, being uh, extensive, uh, extensively studied in the uh, community. What, why you, I, I, I'm forced to do this work? Because there is no measurement to to to, to test. Uh, even there is measurement, it's difficult to, to 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 test. So we go two two directions. One is from theoretical point of view to identify these features, and the other thing use e, e, using EBIT or other uh, measurement available to 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 identify uh, to 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 test the calculation. That's why uh, we have a bit more comfortable on the accuracy. People keep asking me why I know the calculation of the accuracy. Mm -hmm. And I even know the, the measurement is right or not. It's because I spend a, a lot of time to do this identification. So, <laughs> so it's a, a, another way. If, of course, experimental test, it, 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 if, they, they exper uh, if they are experimental data, then, then we don't need it. But, uh, yeah, okay. And, uh, oh, oh they, 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 this figure just show, uh, they need to do another thing, is like, uh, because there is uh, features in the cross section, then we need to convolve a different beam. This, this is specific for EBIT. So, in the pre previous plot, we use 30 EV. This is for uh, some level of cross section. And this is 5 EV. So I think uh, two extremes. Okay, this is uh, to compare the <coughs> decade ago the measurement from EBIT, the polarization. This is for value. And, and we, But uh, the the, the EB, uh, it needs the EBIT measurement. 
is normalized to, to, to one line because uh, there is no absolute measurement uh, from EBIT. So if normalized to E1 line, then the, the, the feature is different. So again, I play with this identification and, uh, to check uh, what's going on in, on the EBIT measurement. Actually, I've never seen uh, Oh, I saw once the uh, EBIT setup. Okay, so uh, I, I show the, 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 the calculation for Valium is to, because I'm not finished the unsemi calculation, so for, 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 for polarization. So I, I show uh, Valium's calculation, it's similar. This is a uh, polarization, oh, no, this is a cross section for, for 3G lines. And uh, but it will be from the magnetic sublevel. It's the same. If one can calculate rightly the, the cross section for a magnetic sublevel, then we don't need to find structure traces. Because if you. Uh, this, this, uh, one, this one level, uh, one deeper level. This is for 3B lines. 3B lines, 3B lines, 3B lines. Uh, and strong, and, uh, as I showed before, there is a co composite model for, for charge transfer because it, uh, in charge transfer, the mean, mean, it, it, they presume it, they assume that uh, the collisional plasma is right, but actually uh, we still work on this. So, so it's good to take into account the accuracy of a uh, thermal model. Thermal model. It's not necessary to be, yeah, to 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 be right in all cases. Like this is the uh, typical case. Uh, okay, yeah, that's just uh, polarization for three C three D. As I said, the cascade is not included. Maybe for 3C, 3D, 3D they, are, uh, they will be uh, some features, but, but it is important for 3S lines. So, and uh, it, it is good to, yeah, to study this as well. Okay, yeah, this is even the setup. Uh, the EBIT was uh, invented, I think, by in the in Limo, but yeah. Uh, I show show this list if not necessary. This is the original object. So if it is good, there is a new image from 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 Eric Silva, and he he is working very hard to to to, to make this working. But okay. So from the previous calculation, uh, the previous calculation and improved calculation. This is my own, uh, our old calculation for for three uh, three C three D line ratio, and uh, these are from NIST measurement and this uh, limo measurement from and this line ratio, these are energies, and uh, these are. Uh, I, I, I did a calculation, earlier calculation is not in agreement with the, the, the measurement. And this is from uh, Locke's calculation, uh, not in good agreement. And uh, later on I did a new calculation is in fully agreement. And uh, we, we show that the line ratio you can see is not unique, it is oscillator. It is funny, uh, for 3C, 3D, it lays very, very strong uh, lines, uh, but, but even for strong lines, you can see very sensitive to, 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 to the plasma condition. So uh, it was a bit of a surprise to me uh, because there is no experiment uh, test, and uh, at one moment, it's very hard, hard for me to, to, to say, okay, the library is all awesome. Is indeed, you can see it's affected uh, many percent uh, increase. And if for, for like uh, intercombination lines or small, uh, smaller lines, then the oscillation, of course, is going to be huge.
so we, uh, as I said, there is no uh, measurement on the uh, magnetic sublevel cross section. So we compare five such uh, cross sections. So this is uh, I, I, uh, a more data. They, they show uh, show uh, many data, but this is just demonstrated two two points, uh, two data points. Uh, these are our calculations, and you can see the uh, these are effective cross section, not uh, absolute cross section. Absolute cross section is a, de a detailed cross section, as I showed uh, before. But this is an uh, effective cross section. Uh, I should explain what's uh, effective cross section. Effective cross section is means uh, the cross sections. Uh, is input by, by, by the plasma environment, like a, uh, if it's a being with or, or even the, the plasma conditions, the micro macro conditions. So, so and the absolute cross section means uh, it is to reduce the environment influence. So, for, from the measurement point of view, so they should not rely uh, on the, the theoretical model. Uh, so it's best just to count uh, for the numbers, uh, not to use. Uh, but but in reality, it's not uh, possible to do so. So this is like a a game. We need to to struggle for the, for this this comparison. So this measurement and uh, uh, report published in the paper, and uh, the calculation, uh, our calculation is a huge difference. So. It's also this is another struggle in at, at this point. So, uh, uh, I, uh, finally, uh, we we discover uh, we find uh, that uh, the measurement actually they use a reference line because the measurement is by definition is not absolute. Uh, cross section because we did not uh, uh, count for the numbers they use the reference lines so uh, but then, then I, I, I find that it's uh, I, I ask the question is the reference line right and uh, so supposing the reference line is not right then he, well, well, I, I move this measurement to here so it's in excellent <laughs> so, but, but, but right now we know it's easy, but at, at, at this point it's very difficult for me to struggle. But why I'm able to, uh, we are able to struggle on this is because I, as I said, I identified the, the, the resonance uh, across the structure and the profiles and this. So, so these the, the sort of reference lines used in the measurement. And uh, this data data point was used by the more okay. Nothing is wrong to use this, but then just the accuracy need to be taken into account. So this is like you can, you can see different calculation have different number. This because the calculation is is not always to be right. So of course they, they will be different by different calculation. So if you use this data for reference, you get the an effective cross section. If you use this, this is my uh, our calculation, you get a different number. So, so it is it, very difficult to understand even the simple uh, measurement. May I ask a technical question? Could you show this? Uh, pretty, well, yeah, just uh, labels here. Yeah. I understand recombination. Yeah, for the. Uh, photo recombination cross section. Why, uh, you, why you call this photo electron energy? It's not a photo electron, it's a recombining electron. Is it correct? I tried terminology, it's not a science even, yeah? Uh, this is for, 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 for photon energy. No, photo electron energy. Photo electron energy. Photo electron energy. Photo electron energy. Photo energy. Photo electron energy. You have uh, some kind of photo ionization here? No, you have a recombination, you mentioned. Uh, Effective photo recombination uh, cross section. The, 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 the photo combination was calculated by 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 photo ionization. This is like a mayonnaise reverse process. 
So no, I understand it's an inverse process, yeah. It's an electron collision. It's, a, it's yeah. an electron energy, yeah? Okay. Yes, yeah, yeah, this is correct. Yeah, okay. Yeah. You don't need photoelectron, yeah? Electron energy would be enough, yeah? Yeah. Okay, thank you. And also, if I just may add, we didn't just use those two levels, because that's just one of them. We have actually made three measurements. And oh, yeah, just I know, one. I know, I know. It I wasn't know, just 3D, it was also in yeah, 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 no, to 3D one half and 3 uh, and to 3S one half. And all three give the same answer. Uh, they, 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 uh, they are complication on the, the other two lines. But supposing this calculation is right, it's okay to prove that uh, there is multiple recombination rates. And uh, for the other two lines, because there is cascade effects, when I wrote the paper, it's difficult to, I need to give it a little reference. It's no problem for me to present the all. So I need to explain the, the for, for other lines to see. For, for, for this line, it, 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 it's cleaner than the other two lines. But, but, but I, I'm going to say this, uh, 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 this data. This uh, data is fine because we don't know. Let, let need a new measurement to prove what's the uh, the combination rate. And uh, they, they are several, not just one paper, not my paper, the different authors. They be, because uh, uh, from this paper, the assumption is wrong because they, uh, the assumption is like this single uh, one electron process. Actually, for uh, even the uh, radio combination is a, a, a multi-electron, is many body, body problem. So, in principle, the uh, combination rate is not uh, yeah, it's not an analytic uh, value. So, so I think it, 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 it is uh, the uncertainty in the combination rate is similar to uh, collision rate. Because it's uh, the same uh, multi-electron problem, and uh, the process is the same. It's just uh, why the uh, radio computer is small. It's just the, 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 the final state, the final state or the electric moment uh, becomes uh, small. All right, so. The, the fi final uh, slide I just seen uh, which create a, a, a simple application. So, supposing our theoretical calculation is right, this is our theoretical calculation, and this is the measurement. Uh, the, 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 uh, as, uh, as I explained, the measurement is pretty light. I, I do not criticize uh, the measurement, and the measurement relies uh, maybe uh, uh, pretty, pretty, uh, plasma parameters, so the measurement may not be better than, I'm not, I'm not sure, so the measurement uh, may not be better than calculation. Uh, so, but, uh, so using at least our calculation and the least measurement and the least the previous model, so, so uh, we can get a, 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 a different uh, optical depth. And uh, it's good. Uh, it's good to 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 um, to understand the uh, solar problem. Uh, uh, so summary uh, again. The two talks. Uh, yeah, we, 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 we because the Limo published a, a, a prominent a prominent paper on the, uh, in Malaysia for 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 the. Oscillator strength. So the work was uh, actually was checked by the paper because uh, that, 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 that was uh, claimed to be experiment data. So I could not move forward. But now there are several papers uh, criticized that, uh, uh, that data. Uh, I think that data is not uh, correct, uh, and uh, then uh, it's safe for me to move forward. Otherwise, I need to wait for for the answer. Uh, for for the uh, measurement, the measurement I think uh, is not uh, not wrong, but uh, of course uh, it is wrong to this problem. And uh, uh, believe I, I I mentioned the EBT science. As I said, I just saw once for the EBT set setup, but uh, uh, as I explained, it's not uh, good enough, right? 
and uh, we show the uh, if it uh, has an intrinsic problem and uh, absolute cross happiness. So, uh, uh, and uh, being with the tapping energy is the purpose of these things. And uh, how, how to work, I have, I have some ideas uh, how to work on this and uh, make our uh, theoretical calculation easier if we like, report the data, we just use it to, to, to test our theoretical calculations, not to struggle for all these measurement uh, difficulties. All right. Questions? Um, I have a question. So, resonant excitation, as was discussed here, is sort of the same side, a different side of the same coin uh, as auto excitation and auto ionization. So, from Peter's talk, you're saying that in order to properly model the relaxation of multiply excited states um, uh, when you have multi-electron charge exchange, capture multi-electron, you need to include all the relevant decay channels, um, including auto excitation, not just auto ionization. If you do that, do you think that the uh, existing uh, auto excitation, auto, uh, auto excitation rates are sufficiently accurate to give good results, or do we need more calculations? This kind. Well, I don't know if that's a question to me. Well, if I had to venture a guess, then uh, one thing you have to do is, is is exactly like you mentioned. You have to know when you're excited. You have to do uh, the <coughs> excitation processes and the entire thing. And a lot of these resonance calculations that has bothered me in the past. And I'm not sure from this talk whether that's included. Now I can is what's called damping. It's also a question you can calculate a lot of these resonances, but you have to know how they de-excite. Some of them fall apart. Some of them go to other levels. Some of them cascade. And if you have so many, you know, some of these graphs are pretty black uh, because yeah, there's so many resonances. Needs to be, and that's uh, all very nice, but when you actually look at them, a lot of them fall away. They're gone. And so there's a question whether one uses you know, isolated resonance approximations, like it's often done with distorted wave and then separate, or one does something like R matrix, where everything is coupled, but if you don't put all the, may I call them damping channels again, even though I may misuse the word, you, you sometimes over predict and the graph is too black. You have to do effective theoretical cross-section. If I may, you now use the word effective in terms of theory. And then a lot of this falls apart again. So you have to really worry about this. This is not a simple issue. Um, so that's, that's my take on it. And until I see all the channels included, I'm always very skeptical when I see a black ground. Yeah, there's another point why uh, we need to identify those less and to say uh, which one is in doubt, is, uh, Peter said there is a radiation therapy or many other things, not just many other things. But if we identify, we, or me in particular, I know which one is safe, uh, which one is safe. That's why we need to identify. And the identification is key. I think it's not enough just to know which level they come from. We really need to know how we can decay, and that includes a lot, oh, yeah, yeah. a lot more calculations. So, so there is no problem. It's a fundamental measurement, they say the last word, but uh, we need to do the preparation. <laughs> Tom, did you have a comment? Yeah. On, on one of your slides, you said you're including radiation damping. Is that correct? Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, at least for, at least not for, I, I, I think I also include a population for neon 9, neon 9. But for the iron in particular, are you doing radiation damping, the iron 17? Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And how is that, what type of radiation, how are you in putting that into your code? Oh, the code is was already is guided, is already the, already included. Is it just the Bell and Seaton? Yeah, Bell and Seaton. That's it. Yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, there's another, another point, uh, yeah, radiation dynamic uh, is a full, 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 uh, taking full account of radiation dynamic 
is another com complicated issue, but, but, but if, if we identify clearly the, the resonance of features, we know which part, at least approximately which part is not influenced by by, by radiation right? So, all right, uh, we'll take uh, question again.